सो लेट सोल्व दिस क्वेश्चन दिस इज सेंग फॉर प्रीमेटिव स्टेटमेंट पी कोमा क्यू वॉट प्रीमेटिव मीन्स प्रीमेटिव स्टेटमेंट मीन्स एटोमिक स्टेटमेंट सो पी कोमा क्यू दीज आर द एटोमिक स्टेटमेंट मीन्स दीज आर प्रोपोजिशनल वेरिएबल्स दिस पी इज अ प्रोपोजिशनल वेरिएबल एंड दिस क्यू इज ऑल्सो अ वेरिएबल सो दीज आर द एटोमिक स्टेटमेंट्स वी नीड टू वेरीफाई दैट दिस स्टेटमेंट इज टोटोलॉजी ऑल्सो वी नीड टू वेरीफाई दैट दिस स्टेटमेंट इज टोटोलॉजी ऑल्सो वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट इज दिस स्टेटमेंट टोटोलॉजी और नॉट सो लेट सी वन बाई वन सो लेट सी दिस क्वेश्चन वेरीफाई दैट दिस स्टेटमेंट इज टोटोलॉजी सो वी कैन सोल्व दिस क्वेश्चन विद द बाई केस मैथड सो लेट सी द दिस बाई केस मैथड दिस इज द मोस्ट इफिशियंट मैथड फॉर सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द बाई केस मैथड द बाई केस मैथड मीन्स सी पी कोमा क्यू दीज आर द प्रोपोजिशन वेरिएबल्स सो यू नो दैट बिकॉज दीज आर प्रोपोजिशन वेरिएबल्स सो आई दर दे विल बी ट्रू और दे विल बी फॉल्स सो यू कैन सी ओनली टू केसेज आर पॉसिबल बाई केस मैथड दिस इज सिंपल मैथड वी नो दैट पी इज अ प्रोपोजिशन दिस पी दिस इज अ प्रोपोजिशन सो आई दर दिस इज ट्रू और दिस इज फॉल्स ओनली टू केसेज आर पॉसिबल सो द केस वन दैट केस वन दिस इज पॉसिबल इज पी ट्रू दिस इज द केस वन दैट इज पॉसिबल अनदर केस दैट इज पॉसिबल इज पी फॉल्स देर इज नो अदर केस पॉसिबल either p will be true or p will be false only these two cases are possible no other case is possible in every case either p will be true or p will be false because p is a proposition so that is the reason only two cases are possible now in this case when p is true in this case what this statement will be so let's let's call this statement some let's call this some statement maybe i can call it statement s so you tell me in this case what statement s will be so you cannot p is true so this p this p is true true implies q implies this p is true so true and q true and q that will be q so i can say q implies q so finally now you can notice q implies q that is true q implies q that is true because you can notice one thing first of all true implies p that is same as p also you can see that this q implies q that is true that is always true why this is true because you can notice if q is true if q is true then q is true true implies true that is also true and if q is false if you take q is false then this q is also false so false implies false that is also true you can notice that the final answer is always true so q implies q q implies q that is always true or you can understand like this see alpha implies beta we can write as alpha negation or beta so what you can do this q implies q you can write this as this q negation or q now we already know q negation or q that is always true this is always true so here i can say this q implies q that is true now you notice that true implies true that is a true so i can say in this case in the first case in this case you can notice s is a true so remember in this case one s is a true this s is true in this case s is true in this case but you can notice what is the definition of tautology tautology means always true in every case this s must be true if this s is tautology then tautology means always true always means in every case this s must be true so we have seen that in the case 1 in this case 1 when p is true so whenever p is true this s this expression will be true but this s if it is tautology then this should be true in every case so we have to check this case too also so when p is false then what will happen so if you take p equal to false you can notice p equal to false p equal to false false implies anything false implies this bracket this bracket whatever you put here you know that false implies anything is true we already know false implies alpha that is true false implies anything that is always true so here i can say that false implies anything that does not matter what is here that does not matter false implies anything that is a true so you can notice s is true in this case also s is a true so in every case s is true so finally i can say remember only two cases are possible because p is a proposition so p is either true or false only two cases are possible in both the cases this s this expression s is true in every case s is true so i can say because s is true in every case so s is tautology okay so very simple in both the cases s is true so s is tautology so we have verified that s is a tautology now the same question you can solve by a different method you can also solve this same uh, same question by the simplification method so we can simplify the given expression 
सो दिस गिवन एक्सप्रेशन इज गिवन टू यू पी इम्प्लाइज क्यू इम्प्लाइज पी एंड क्यू दिस एक्सप्रेशन इज गिवन टू यू वॉट वी कैन डू वी कैन सिंपली सिंप्लीफाई दिस एक्सप्रेशन दिस एक्सप्रेशन दैट इज गिवन टू यू वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई दिस सो टू सिंप्लीफाई दिस वी कैन यूज दिस रूल वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट यू कैन एल्फा इम्प्लाइज बीटा यू कैन राइट दिस एज एल्फा डैश और बीटा सो यू कैन राइट दिस सो फाइनली वॉट आई कैन डू दिस पी इम्प्लाइज दिस आई कैन राइट लाइक दिस आई कैन से दैट इट इज पी नेगेशन और दिस वन पी नेगेशन और क्यू इम्प्लाइज P and Q. Okay, so like this I can write. Now you can notice, I can this Q implies P and Q. Q implies P and Q. How can I write this? Again I can say Q negation or P and Q. So I can say that finally I will get P dash P negation or Q negation or P and Q. So this is what I am getting. Okay, so finally this is the this is what I am getting. Now you can notice, what is Q? This we have already seen that what is P dash. or pq p dash or pq so this rule we have already seen p dash or pq you can remove this p so you can simply write it p dash or q okay so remember this p or p dash q if you have this type of situation if you have p or p dash q if you have this type of situation you can remove this p dash and you can simply write it p or q so this rule we have already seen alpha or alpha dash beta what you can do you can remove this alpha dash here so you can simply write it alpha or beta so the same thing i can do here this q dash or p and q okay look at this this q dash or p and q so you can remove this q from here so i can simply write it p dash or q dash or p now now you can notice now this p dash or p this p dash or p so what you can do p dash or p that is p or p dash that is always true that is always true so finally what i will get so you have this expression p dash or p or q so this is what you got okay p dash or p or q dash uh, q dash this is what you got so now this is always true true or q dash true or q dash is always true so this is how you can do it so finally we got true it means this expression was tautology so we have verified that this expression is equivalent to true finally you got true means this expression is equivalent to true means this expression is a tautology so you can either for, uh, to solve this question to verify that this is tautology what you can do either you can use the by case method or you can use the simplification method let me tell you by case method is better this by case method only two cases are possible p is true p is false this method this by case method is the best method okay this is most i can say efficient method in the exam if you apply this method you can save a lot of time and this is less error prone so this is the best method to solve these type of questions okay and in the lectures in our in our go classes lectures we have already seen this by case method simplification method all the type of methods we have seen and i told you that this is the most efficient and this is the best method so you can try this question uh, you can try this method for this question now let's see the next one this b verify that this statement is tautology this is actually very simple because it is saying q implies q and we already know q implies q is true okay this we already know that q implies q that is true so i can simply say that this option b is like p or q implies implies true okay now anything implies true is true we already know alpha implies true that is always true anything implies true is true so whatever it is it does not matter whatever it is we know that we know that anything anything implies true this is always true so finally i can say this statement this entire statement p or q implies true this entire statement is equivalent to true so finally i can say this statement is equivalent to true this statement is always true always true means tautology so yes i can finally say this statement this statement in option b this statement is always true this is equivalent to true means always true always true means tautology so this option b is tautology now this question is asking is this expression a tautology so let's check it so you can apply the by case method again we are going to solve this question by the by case method so let's call it as so apply the by case method here 
in the by case method you know that this p this is a proposition so this is either true or false only two cases are possible either p will be true or p will be false only two cases are possible either this case or this case i can say so let's call it case 2 let's call it case 1 so you can see because this p is a proposition or i can say p is a propositional variable so either this is true or this is false okay so only two cases are possible no more case you can create okay now in this case what is this this s so when p is true when p is true then you can notice p or q will be true so when p is true then p or q that will be true true implies true implies what is here so true implies q implies now when p is true when this p is true true and q that will be q so finally i can say that q implies q now this q implies q that is already true so i can say true implies true and that is same as true so you can notice s is true in this case i can say s is the true in this case in the first case s is true so case one s is true now let's see the case two because remember in the in this case in this first case s is true this expression is true when p is true so when p is true then this expression is true but we want to verify is this tautology or not tautology means always true so we want to check is this always true always true means in all the cases this must be true so in the case one it is already true in this case this expression is already true but we need to check the case two also we need to make sure that this expression is true in this case also okay so let's check when p is false then what will be s see when p is false false or q what is that false or q that will be q q implies q implies when p is false then false and q that will be false false and q that is going to be false now what is q implies false what is q implies false that is nothing but q dash because remember alpha implies beta that is equivalent to uh, that is equivalent to alpha negation or beta so i can simply say this q implies false that is equivalent to q negation or false now q negation or false that is same as q negation so here i can say that this statement as this is q implies q negation okay q implies q negation because this statement is nothing but q negation so now what is q implies q negation what is that so look at here q implies q negation you can write this as q negation or q negation because alpha implies beta how to write this this you can write as alpha negation or beta so i can write as q negation or q negation that is same as q negation so finally this in this case s is same as q negation okay so in this case too in this case too remember in this case too you got s equal to q negation so you can see that in this case too can i make s equal to false yes of course if i take q equal to true then s will become false so because i can make s equal to false so s is not always true so s is not tautology so finally i can say that s is not tautology so remember s is not tautology see the reason is simple because in this case too when p is false in this case too you can notice i can make s equal to false if i take in this case when p is false if i take q equal to true then this s will become false so because i can make it false i can make it false so this is not always true so this is not tautology so finally remember is this tautology the answer is no and the simple counter example you can notice that if you take p equal to false and q equal to true if you take this if you take this means p equal to false in this case when p equal to false and you take q equal to true then you can notice this statement will become true okay so if you do this p equal to false and q equal to true you put it then this is going to become false this statement is going to become false when p equal to false q equal to true in this case this statement the given statement will become false so this statement is not a tautology